In this presentation, we are going to be discussing London dispersion forces. London dispersion forces are a type of intermolecular force, the force that exists between molecules. Along with dipole-dipole attractions, these forces can be referred to as van der Waals forces. It is clear why polar molecules are attracted to one another, but not so clear as to how nonpolar molecules are. Polar molecules have a positively charged end and a negatively charged end that attract each atom to one another. There has to be some other kind of attractive interaction between nonpolar atoms, however, because nonpolar gases such as helium and argon can be liquefied. Fritz London, a German-American physicist, first proposed the origin of this attraction in 1930. London recognized that the motion of electrons in an atom or a molecule can create an instantaneous or momentary dipole moment. This means that as the electrons in a nonpolar atom or molecule move around, there are times that one side of the atom or molecule has a higher concentration of electrons, giving it a slightly negative charge and the other side a slightly positive charge. For example, in a collection of helium atoms, the average distribution of molecules is symmetrical, which is what makes the atom nonpolar. This symmetrical average distribution of electrons in helium means that helium has no permanent dipole moment, meaning it does not have a permanently charged positive or negative end. However, the instantaneous distribution of the electrons at any given moment can be different from the average distribution since electrons are constantly in motion. So, if we froze the motion of the electrons in a helium atom at any given instant, both electrons could be on one side of the nucleus. At just that instant, the atom would have a positively charged and a negatively charged end, meaning that it has a momentary dipole moment. The motions of electrons on one atom can affect the motion of electrons on another atom. The temporary dipole moment on one atom can cause the electrons in another atom to shift from their average distribution and cause the atom to also experience a temporary dipole moment. These temporary dipoles cause atoms to be attracted to each other. This attractive interaction is what we call the London dispersion force. It is important to note that these forces, like other intermolecular forces, are only significant when molecules are close together. These forces exist in all atoms and molecules, whether they are nonpolar or polar, but the effect of temporary dipoles is most significant within nonpolar atoms and molecules. The strength of the dispersion force depends on how easy it is to change the distribution of electrons in a molecule to induce a momentary dipole. The ease with which the electron distribution is changed in an atom or molecule is known as its polarizability. This is an easy term to remember because it is essentially how easy it is to make a nonpolar atom or molecule temporarily polar. The shapes of molecules can also affect the strength of the dispersion force. For example, n-pentane and neopentane have the same molecular formula, C5H12. Yet the dispersion forces of n-pentane are greater than the dispersion forces in neopentane. The difference in the strength of the dispersion forces in these molecules is due to the difference in the shape of the two molecules. The dispersion forces in n-pentane are greater because molecules can come in contact over the entire length of the molecule because of its long cylindrical shape. Less contact is possible on neopentane because it is more compact.